and welcome back to the Tableau Jedi channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to create dynamic slicers. Dynamic slicers will take your dashboard to the next level. It will save you from making redundant dashboards. It, they really are great. Dynamic slicers that allows your user the ability to slice the data by the dimensions or measures of their choice within that parameter. We're going to be working off of the Tableau Sample Superstore 2016 version. In the description, I have a link if you want to download it to work along. If you have a newer version of the Sample Superstore, that's fine. You can use that as well. So let's get started. So on your to make your slicers, we're going to be making three. One, a dimensional slicer that has different dimensions. Two, a color slicer that's going to color it. And we are going to be making a measure slicer. So when you're making, for every dynamic slicer you need, you need two things. You need a parameter and you need a, a calculated field. So let's go. Let's make our, you want to make your parameter first and I'll show you why. So go up here, create parameter. Okay. Now I'm going to name this select. I like to put select in front of that on my parameter because this is what you are going to eventually you're going to show parameter and this is what you're going to be selecting from so it just kind of keeps it uh, labeled correctly so I'm just going to name it select slicer okay we'll go down to data type this is going to be string all right so that's your string all right leave the current value go down the list right here okay now I want you to start listing your values in here. So we're going to start with region. Okay. Now you have value. You want to type in your values. Now here it says display as. If you want to rename that and whatever you want it to show up in your drop down menu, that's fine. You can rename it anything you want. But make sure this is the, the correct value. So category. subcategory and segment now folks here's what you want to do you want to check your spelling you want to make sure that is correct even capitalization okay because it will cause you problems later on down the road and I'll show you I'll show you in a little, in a little while okay so press OK so now you have your parameter, your first one. Let's come up here and create your calculated field. Right here. All right, I'm just simply going to name this slicer. Name it whatever you want. Here you go. So you want to do case. <coughs> now, there you go. That's why you want to do your your parameter first because it's going to bring it's going to reference that and bring it up, make life life easier. Okay. Then when and you want to in parentheses start listing your values again. Region. Then. region. There you go. Just pick it off the list. When category close quotations then category when sub category Then subcategory when segment then segment and end. So you're doing a case when, okay? So there again, make sure 
your spelling is correctly. Press OK. OK, that's your first sli slicer. Now, uh, I'll show you a neat little trick. Uh, we're going to make a color slicer. So here's what you do. Go down to parameters. We're going to cheat. We're going to right click on your first slicer, your first parameter. Right click and duplicate it. Okay, go back to the duplicated one and right click and edit. And all we are going to do is change the title. We are going to name this select color slicer. And that's it. That's all you have to do with this. That's easy. <clears throat> and now we're going to come over to your calculator field, your slicer, and do almost the same thing. We're going to right click on it, duplicate it, find the duplicate, where it says slicer copy, right click and edit. Come up to edit and edit that. So first thing we want to do is we're going to rename it color slicer. And what we have changed here, this says select slicer. That's going to be your original one. We're going to change that. So there you go. Select color slicer. It has it in there. And there you go. <coughs> so that's your first two slicers. Now let's go ahead and make the measure slicer. Come up here, create parameter. Again. I'm going to name it select measure slicer. You can name it whatever you want. Data type is string. Basically the same thing. So now let's list, let's start with sales. profit in quantity check your spelling okay so you want to check your spelling press OK and create another calculator field create calculator field I'm going to name it Measure Slicer. Okay, we're going to do that a little bit different on this one. <coughs> so, we'll do a case. Select Measure Slicer. Okay. When. Sales. Now this is what we're going to do on this particular one. I need to do sum of sales, so we're going to do sum. It automatically puts the cursor inside the parentheses. So we'll do sales. Same thing, win. Profit. sum profit okay win and the last one quantity sum nope then now I left out the then here In all of these. Then sum of quantity and end. Okay, folks, <clears throat> let me explain something. I did not capitalize the quantity, I purposely didn't because I want to give you a demonstration of why it is so important to check your spelling in your parameter in here if this 
has to match your parameter. So if it doesn't, I'll show you what's going to happen. So you press OK. So now let's let's go ahead and validate your slicers. Let's go and get order date. Bring it to columns. So it's blue. This blue means discrete. It does not mean dimensions. A lot of uh, a lot of beginners they they get that kind of confused because Tableau does that by default because the most dimensions are discrete and most measures are continuous but uh, blue means discrete green means continuous so we're going to change this to quarter year and notice it changed to green see there it's continuous now okay so let's go ahead and let's take our slicer and put it to rows tell you what I'm going to stop right here and let's go ahead and start showing parameters right click on the first parameter and go show parameter right click on the second one show parameter and the third show parameter so here they are there's your parameters at work I'm going to go ahead and change this to a bar chart you don't have to I will okay now I'm going to take my measures my measure slicer and I'm going to put that to the row. And finally, I'm going to take the color slicer that I made. And I'm going to put that to color. So we'll slice and dice that by the dimensions. Okay, so let's start validating this. All right, so you have region, sales. Let's change this, say, to category. So you have region. You have the sales, and it's slice. It's color coding, slice and dicing, by category. So you you need to go through them, and you need to validate. And make sure these are working. Profit. Now remember that quantity. Let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. That's why I keep stressing about making sure the spelling is is uh, is correct and matches on both of those calculated field and parameters. So if you come across this and you're dealing with these select slicers, you're creating them, and something goes wrong, me, in my opinion, the first thing you need to do is go to that calculated field within that within that slicer. So. We're going to, this was the measures, so we are going to right click on measure slicer and we're going to go back and edit the calculator field. Okay, so change that and let's see what happens when I press apply. There you go. So, and, and notice both times the calculator, the calculation was valid. It's got me more than once, folks. That's why I stress that. And you can play around a little more just to make sure your dynamic slicers are working this right here if you you would have to make 148 charts in power bi to make what this is the equivalent of it's, it's a great tool so that is how to make dynamic slicers if you enjoyed the video go ahead and click that uh, like button if you want to be notified of upcoming in, in current videos that comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day.